Well, this is some interesting news. NVIDIA potential roadmap has been updated for 2017, meaning that the Vaulter architecture could come out as early as the second half of 2017. Now, that's kind of crazy considering Pascal just came out this year. NVIDIA just showed the new Titan XP, and now they're already possibly getting ready to launch the successor to Pascal within a year, within a year. Now, usually NVIDIA has like a two year life cycle, but this time a single year. Now, I think this could be a sort of preemptive strike against AMD and their Vega architecture. I don't know why I was gonna say Volta, but basically everybody keeps saying, wait for AMD's Vega, wait for Vega, wait for Vega to come out in 2017. And then we'll see what in, like what will drop the Nvidia prices and it'll get Nvidia check. Wait for Vega. That's like the thing everybody says, wait for AMD. The Vega is also featuring HBM2 memory for sure. High bandwidth stack. And HBM2 memory is the second generation of high bandwidth memory. It's not only faster than the first generation, but it also scales up to capacities of eight times larger than HBM1. So the HBM2 features one gigabyte per die and up to eight high stacks for eight gigabyte per cube, which is eight times more than the highest capacity currently available per cube on the HBM1. Additionally, HBM2 operates at twice the speed as HBM1 for double the memory bandwidth. What does all this mean? In layman's terms for people like you and me, this shit just trounces the living fuck out of its predecessor. AMD is really gonna come out swinging with Vega. Hopefully. I mean, everybody's rooting for AMD because in a market where one company is completely dominant, they get to just mark up the prices. I mean, everyone's screaming about the 1060 being more expensive than the 960 was when it came out or the 1070 being more than the 970 was when it came out. This is all true. There's just nothing sort of keeping NVIDIA in check. And AMD is pretty much our only hope. Like Star Wars. Save us, AMD. You're our only hope. But they keep kind of falling fat. Falling flat. I was going to say thin fat. <sighs> So, basically, technology is moving even faster than before. AMD's making a big move to socket NVIDIA, and NVIDIA is now doing a preemptive strike with Volta in 2017 versus 2018. Well, NVIDIA is launching a 16 nanometer FinFET based Pascal successor. As soon as May 17? Wow! That's literally like a year from now. That would be insane. But the thing that I'm noticing with the Volta is they keep saying that it's going to be DDR RAM stacked on top of each other. Whereas to, you know, AMD's gonna have the HBM2. Now, I heard that, you know, HBM2 memory is kind of like in limited sources or limited abundance. And AMD's kind of first in line to get it. That's why the Pascal is running on the GDDR5X currently because they couldn't get HBM. So everybody's assuming they're saving HBM for Volta. That's what I was thinking. But now from what I'm reading and seeing here, Volta could be running with DDR5X most likely. I don't know why they'd even bother DDR5 normal. They'd have to be running X. This is all just, it's all speculation currently. It's all rumor as far as NVIDIA goes. I'm not going to get my hopes up because I remember what happened last time around. I was in line to get myself a Fury X because I thought Fury X was really going to kick the shit out of NVIDIA and the Fury X kind of fell flat. So I ended up with the 980 Ti. I'm hoping this time around AMD can actually keep them in check. But... Who knows? I mean, if AMD does launch Vega and it, it's as beastly as we're all hoping, then there's no doubt in my mind NVIDIA will drop Volta like it's hot immediately to sort of circumvent AMD taking potential sales away from NVIDIA. And considering Cavi Lake is coming out next year too. I mean, Skylake just came out this year and Intel's already going to do Cavi Lake, which is a 10 nanometer CPU for next year. I was going to get Skylake. But now that I know Cabby Lake's coming, I'll just hold off until Cabby Lake hits. It's just kind of crazy how much this is all just, like, it's just a huge leap in the course of a year. My mind is blown. What the hell do you think? What are you going to do? Because basically, I don't know, none of this is going to be cheap. Vega's going to be Andy's top-of-the-line GPU. And we all know how NVIDIA is with launching GPUs. Volta will probably come out, and I think it'll only be incrementally better than Pascal. You know, kind of like how the 600 series was only slightly worse than the 700 series NVIDIA cards. Because I'm assuming Volta is just a slightly better version of Pascal. But, you know, I'm going to go now, because it's all speculation. I'm not a major information whiz, just like you. I run around the internet, I read something interesting, and I think, well, that's crazy. Well, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, as always, for tuning into my channel. And as long as you support me... There's a chance that I could become big enough to YouTube where I could get a little bit of respect and then I could do real reviews on items that you might be interested in. But Lord knows I probably won't. Ah, uh, 
YouTube has already told me a couple of my videos weren't ad friendly because of my views on things. So yeah. Oh well, what are you gonna do, right?